that sound cool, Caraman? It does. It's kind of like a, an alarm. I was thinking more like drums. Kettle drums. Anyway, focus. Some say cooking oil plus dishwashing soap plus hot water equals a removal of fake nails. Hmm. Let's try it. Let's get started. Decorate your nail table with function and beauty. Jewel of the Nail Dappen Dish and premium files available at nailcareer.com. Have you seen this new trend? So some will put oil. So I'm going to do that. I've got a beautiful set of acrylics on here. And I'm going to put oil. One is a tip. I'll be truthful. This is a tip that I put on. And it's got no primer on it because I wanted it to come off pretty good. I'm going to put the cuticle oil on. I'm going to put a little dish soap in here, awkwardly. I'll put a lot. Make sure that it works. And I'm going to put hot water. Ooh. And I'm going to put some cooking oil. It's all very scientific, you know. Here we go. All I had was virgin olive oil. Good stuff. Okay, so I'm going to swish it all up. The idea is to rest your fake nails, whatever you're wearing, acrylic, gel, hybrid gel, jelly tips will be adhered with any one of those, and you soak. I'm very skeptical about this in case you hadn't noticed. <laughs> but why is it working for some? And why am I totally thinking this isn't gonna work? The reason why I don't think it works is because if it worked, all my clients who had hot tubs would come screaming with <laughs> phoning me and telling me that all their nails are floating to the top after they have a jacuzzi. All the clients that I've ever had that were nurses or parents <laughs> with their hands in water constantly or those clients I've had that were swimmers or lifeguards and in the water all the time. So that's why I'm pretty confident this won't work. So the oil is going to make my hands, the skin nice and soft. The dishwashing soap is certainly gonna clean everything. And the hot water is just nice and relaxing to rest my hand in it. But it is not going to remove any type of enhancement that is properly adhered to the nail plate. And the reason why this is, and I'm gonna do this, I'm just gonna soak as long as we're talking here to prove to you that it's not. I've even got my, my tools to pry it open. <laughs> to pry them off. If you have nails that are already lifting, then this can be effective in the fact that you could get them off. But that's the only way it's going to be effective. You're still going to damage your natural nails. And here's why. When natural nails are exposed to water for more than 60 seconds, the natural nail has about 18, 15 to 18% moisture content in the natural nail. I don't want to bore you with stats and numbers, but just, I'm just giving you the facts. When you get more moisture in the nail bed, after 60 seconds, if they've been sitting in water, the natural nail will bloat out. It'll absorb that water and become much more flexible and bendable. That's why putting oil on your nails can give your natural nails a little more moisture into it to make it more flexible and you won't break your nails as much. It's very, it's very nice for the nail. So when you are soaking in like this and you have nails that are sort of coming off and you just want to get them off and I get it. The reason why this appears to work for some is because the water is getting in under the fake nail that's already lifted and it's penetrating into the natural nail and bloating the natural nail out. So therefore, when you come along with one of these things and you stick it under any little free edge you can find, which you might already have that problem with free edge, that's why you wanna get them off, right? Getting your hair caught in it, getting things caught, it's just a pain, right? You wanna get them off. So the water soaks in around, bloats it out, you come along with one of these, you start prying it, and you are literally, because you have to pull a little, a little bit of pressure, to get them off. They're already on their way off, but a little bit of coaxing with the water um, and your little stick here, if that's what you're using, will blow the nail and it'll just pop right off. And that's why this appears to work. If you do not have any lifting or any edge where the water can get underneath it, it's not gonna come off. It's just not. Like I said, if I did, I'd have lots of clients phoning me. I had a bath. <laughs> 
and all my nails are floating to the top. If that was the case, I would not have had the clientele that I did for many, many years because nails would be just coming off left to right and that's not what you want. So I'm gonna leave this in as long as I can here. I have a before picture. So maybe we'll take a peek at the before picture to show you that the cuticles that I have are completely adhered and they're not lifting. So let's take a peek at that. So you can see the cuticles are completely adhered. I could literally have my hand in this solution all day and it's not going to lift. So if you are doing this and it's working for you, it's because the nail's already lifted, the product is already lifted off of your natural nail. They weren't adhered, um, maybe that great or they're growing off and they're starting to come off because they won't last forever. <laughs> they are gonna come off to a certain degree if you don't refill them. The water is getting underneath it and you're prying it off. So why I wanted to do this video was to show you that if your nails are adhered properly, it's not going to come off. If your nails are coming off and you're prying them off a little bit, I just wanna warn you that if you're doing that, you're still damaging the natural nail plate. All you're doing is making it easier to damage the natural nail plate. It just feels better because the nails are wet, they're bloated out, they're softer. That's what happens when they sit in water for longer than 60 seconds. They can become a little softer and it's just easier to pull it off. So when you dry your hands and an hour or so later, when you look at your hands, you will see that it is thinner in areas and it's taken more layers of the natural nail off. That's what's happening. There's just no way around it. That's just the facts of how scientifically our nails are built. And when you rip it off, you're taking layers of the natural nail off. So. I don't recommend this at all. And to put my money where my mouth is, I'm just gonna leave it till the end of the video. I'm gonna dry them off and show you what they look like. I don't know, how long has it been now, cameraman, that I've been talking away to have this hand, have my hand in here? How long would you say? I'm guessing it's like seven minutes. Minutes, so they've been maybe. in here for seven minutes and some people mm -hmm. were talking to have them in for 10 minutes. Some people said five and then 10, some people said 10, but I could literally have them in here all day and they will not come off. As long as I did a good job with my adhesion. With your application? You yeah. Mean, what about cornstarch nails? <laughs> <laughs> would, would cornstarch nails come off in this? That's what I was wondering. <laughs> well, I'm hoping that you're not wearing cornstarch nails. And if you are, I mean, you know, you got to do what you got to do. But um, I would think that the water would get into the cornstarch. That if you didn't secure it with the glue or, or gel, whatever you're using to adhere your cornstarch to. But uh, that m might come off more actually, because it's not an acrylic nail. It's not a gel nail. It's not a hybrid gel. You know, it's cornstarch. <laughs> but good question, cameraman. <laughs> now this thumb, I did not buff. I did not put prep and prime on. So I adhered this tip with acrylic and I didn't really smooth out the cuticles really, really smooth because I was gonna take it off. You can see the cuticle thing here. I can get it around it, but there is no lifted. Okay, so I can get I can get it under and I can stick it under and I can pry it a little, but it is not lifted. It is not wanting to come off at all. And this one wasn't even adhered that well. That's how ineffective the oil and the water and the dish soap is. My hands are gonna be clean and they're gonna be somewhat soft, probably gonna be a little wrinkly, but I'm not going to lift the product whatsoever. It's not dissolving the product whatsoever. All it's doing is making the natural nail soft. So if I was to get in here and, and, and pry away and pull, um, I'm only able to do that because I've softened the natural nail and then I can pull it off. But to be clear, I'm against prying it off. We had a little uh, technical issue with one of the cameras, so we stopped for a minute, but I kept my hand in the water. So it's another three minutes on top of whatever's been going on. So we're in around 10 minutes now. And let's me just pull out my hand and see if there is any lifting whatsoever. So catch it live, cameraman, in the sense that we I don't want to cut a free flow here of bringing it out. Okay. And showing, so this is real, right? Okay, so we've been in the 10, 11 minutes. And you can see my hands, my fingers are really wrinkly. See that? Moving all the soap away. See how wrinkly they are? They've been in there for some time. So I'm going to just show you, we'll move some soap suds here. 
And if you could zoom in, cameraman, and show those cuticles. See this? After 10 or 11 minutes, there is absolutely no lifting whatsoever. Just like the before photo that I showed you, they are completely adhered. There's no edge whatsoever to be lifting or there's no water that seeped under. It's absolutely just not going to happen. Okay, well, these are pretty though, I have to say. I was testing some new colors and I absolutely love that French there with the three rings of color. Anyway. I'm getting sidetracked. So anyway, just wanted to share this with you, how it doesn't work. If you do want to soak them off, acetone is highly recommended. Put a little bit of cuticle oil on your fingers if you like to stop them from drying out, but it is completely safe to be able to soak them in acetone. In fact, I do have some information, some videos on how to remove your nails. Check it out.